Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to turn your Figma prototypes into slick MP4 videos for sharing with clients, teammates, or your portfolio, you're in the right place. In this updated 2025 tutorial, I'm going to walk you step-by-step step through the quickest and most reliable method for recording your Figma prototypes as MP4 videos so you can present your designs in motion, exactly how you envision them. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident exporting your interactive work into a smooth video format, ready to share anywhere. All right, let's jump straight into it. I've already got a working Figma prototype set up on my screen, and you should have yours ready as well. The first thing we want to do is head right down to the center bottom of the Figma interface. You'll see a little icon labeled Actions. Go ahead and click on that. This is essentially Figma's shortcut drawer for all those extra features and add-ons that can supercharge your workflow. Next, in the search bar that pops up, type in Plugin Motion. What we're doing here is looking for the Motion plugin, which is an absolute lifesaver for anyone wanting to animate and export prototypes. If you don't see Motion installed yet, don't worry, just select it from the suggestions and add it to your plugins. Once you've got Motion ready to go, click Open. This will launch the Motion plugin panel right in your workspace. Now you'll notice that you get a list of prototypes or frames available for recording. Go ahead and click on the prototype you want to record. It's important to select the right one here because the plugin will focus on whatever you pick and pull its animations into your video export. If you have multiple flows or screens, make sure you're picking the exact interaction you'd like to showcase. Before we hit record, let's take a minute to preview the prototype. This step is absolutely key. By previewing, you make sure everything's running smoothly, your transitions, your timings, those animation details. It's kinda like doing a dress rehearsal before the live performance. Just click the play icon within the plugin or in Figma's native preview mode and walk through your prototype to see it in action. Once you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and make any final tweaks. For example, maybe you want to show off a rotation animation. Within the motion plugin, you can add effects like rotation by selecting your element or frame, then choosing your desired animation setting. Give it a try, then play the animation to see how it feels. Don't be afraid to experiment a bit here. Sometimes, a small change in animation speed or direction can make your prototype pop that much more. And if things don't look perfect right away, that's totally normal. You can keep adjusting until you're satisfied. Now it's time for the main event, recording. In the Motion Plugin panel, hit the Record button. Here's an important tip. When you record, make sure you give your prototype a second to load before you click or interact, just to avoid capturing any unwanted lag or loading indicators in your final video. Once you start recording, play through your prototype just as you did in the preview, clicking, swiping, or dragging as your user would. This part might take a few moments, especially if your prototype is complex, so take it slow and don't rush through the interactions. When you've recorded everything you want, click Stop, and then look for the Export as Video option in the Motion plugin. Click that, and Figma will process your recording and download it as an MP4 file. This is the magic moment, you've now got a high-quality video of your design, ready to send off, post online, or include in a presentation. If you run into any hiccups like audio syncing or visual glitches, try re-recording just that section. Sometimes a fresh take fixes everything. And that's it, you're now equipped to turn your Figma prototypes into polished MP4 videos, making your designs easier to share and more impactful than ever. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments. I check them all and love helping out. And if you want to see more up-to-date design and prototyping tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.